What's going down, tech fans? An exciting brand new segment comes to us, suggested by community members. They are wondering, what does the 21.3.1 size up with the brand new 21.Q1? The workstation developed Radeon Pro software faces off with adrenaline. Yeah, it's a driver face off. I do them every so often, and I think this is a great time to kind of slam into it. They're boasting that there's a brand new UI, which they're just utilizing the 2020 UI inside of the brand new Pro software. This is not going to be any patch note. This is just going to be sizing up performance to see how they look. So short and sweet. First, we're going to be looking at some rendering times, and it is just impressive. By the way, my name is Mac, and you're the MacGyver 7 channel. Get ready for tech news. So this was pretty funny. Like, honestly, when I'm looking at this, this is the brand new 21.Q4 coming out the gate. And we're gonna size it up with that brand new 21.3.1. Holy crap, they're the same. For once, you don't need to do this where you need to switch softwares to have it render faster. Now you can utilize the Adrenaline Rendering Pro, which is something that can be plugged in through Blender and other tests, which I'm running the BMW test directly on this one. And it was kind of nice because when this first started out, when they started doing the more pro software and I started testing it, it was roughly about a minute and six seconds, a minute and seven seconds. So they have made some pretty good drops, even with just the regular adrenaline software for gaming. So they're making it where you don't really need to toggle as much, though I do wish that they would let you install them and toggle them like Nvidia, who kind of does it like a boss. As we start to digest our graphic scores, we're going to take a peek into the DirectX 12 world. With 4K being on the table for us to eat, what we're going to be looking at is the brand new softwares. Now, the one that says the graphics driver is not approved, which is our new 21.Q1. And then faced off on the right, which is our brand new 21.3.1, our gaming software sized up. Now you can see that there are some differences. And yes, when you look at the graphics score, it technically does beat it by a little bit. But there are some things that you're basically going to be looking at for the combined scores in order to overcome these. Now, if you're a gamer, yes, you're definitely going to want to continue to utilize your adrenaline software, not the pro software where you can kind of see it does take a little bit of the hit, but still contends. It's pretty cool. The trend continues as you see that the brand new adrenaline software from both fields definitely contend with the same percentile. Nothing groundbreaking, but this is meaning if you are an editor and you are a gamer, you don't need to continue to switch softwares in order to have some fun. Now, if there will be FPS drops in certain applications, like certain games, yes, there could be. That's the point of a synthetic test is to roll it across to see exactly what pans out for what's going down for these things. Specific drivers and specific portions of what your Windows OS, which this brand new Windows like Circumvent ran out right around the same time as our 21.Q.1, you can see that there's a lot of cool stuff. I mean, quite frankly, we're looking at some pretty cool movements for as far as the pro software. Now, it definitely seems like the pro software beats the gaming software from AMD, but when you look at the finite details, look at the graphics score, you will see that yes, <laughs> the attended portion of what is going to show up on your gaming is going to be better with the gaming version as you can see even though it definitely does have a tiny bit for as far as it sinking down that's where you're going to lose it a little bit in the combination where it's going to be utilizing the directx 11 for rendering when it's needed for as far as that quality pro software so there are some changes even though there are a little bit of a perk now if you do notice a game out of nowhere spiking up on fps and you're like holy crap this is this enterprise like pro software really works good for gaming no taint what game it really is in the comments i'd like to know exactly what is changing in the game verse from the community as the neck to neck challenge in this face off of drivers continues you see the same exact thing it seems like the graphics score definitely goes back up as we can see that the scores are almost at a dead tie for as far as looking at what would end up being the best well if you're editing i would definitely suggest going with the 21.q1 it's a great software and i'd watch my review on the full video that i've already uploaded there will be a tag at the very end of this video to catch it to get the patch notes as well well, it's pretty unanimous looking at a nice clean install for as far as the way you're going to operate 
what we're going to come out from this is that if you are a gamer, you should probably be utilizing the Adrenaline software. The 21.3.1, which is not that bad of a look for as far as the installments. Not the best in the world, but I think that AMD can definitely grow from this. Like a fine wine, they are aging quite well. As well as where they're coming with their pro software, which is getting better and better with each installment between every quarter. Quarter 1 has definitely come out. Quarter 2 is getting right around the corner. Now, they're boasting of a brand new UI. Ah, they, they need to rebrush it. We actually do need a 2021 UI. We're rocking 2020. And 2019 was, well, it label. <laughs> it simply said it left a lot to want. And that is saying a lot. But the 2020 software, I can see why they're continuously pushing out that UI. Now, for as far as people wondering why I didn't utilize hardware accelerator inside of the situation is because I figured that the trick that I utilize in order to trigger that is usually for more gaming enthusiasts that usually have dual setups. You usually won't have an NVIDIA card, which allows you to do the set trick while you plug it inside of there and access the hardware acceleration. There's only technically one driver that does something comes out that makes you utilize Windows and AMD in order to have that. It's something that they've been trying to, well, work into their software as a toggle off on with windows but i figured out a way to do it so if you are wondering how i did that and you were wanting to do that you, all you need to do is just place in an nvidia card in your pcie slot alongside with your lovely amd card voila hardware acceleration is on or at least you can toggle it off and on now there are going to be certain cards that definitely do have this applicable as you can see that sometimes with amd it's like finding mystical pokemon so i'm going to leave that as is everyone should you install this well it depends. Are you a gamer or are you a workstation? If you're a workstation, go with the Q1. If you're a gamer, go with the 3.1. It's that simple for right now. Now, if there's any other segments that people are looking forward into the near future, leave a comment. I'd definitely like to hear for as far as what are the newer programs that are coming out and what everyone's looking for. You guys and gals definitely help me out around the world for as far as what is new and fresh as we all caught this on the cusp today, which is very fun. So I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. If you're new, you can always subscribe. Helps me out absolutely free. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe Lisa Sue will actually watch this and be like, hey, we should send him a nice little freaking 6900 XT. I know I can't say that enough, but I really want that card. I feel like life kind of robbed me. B&H did me dirty. They, they ran out and they were like, oh, we don't know where your order is. And I was like, what do you mean you don't know where my order is? I bought it. And then they're like, they didn't charge me. That, that was the plus part about that, at least on that end of the story. But I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and see you there.